Welcome to White Lecture Online. Here we have our first example of how to find the phase in the line currents in a wide delta circuit, the more common type of three phase, three wire circuit. Notice we're given the phase voltage A sub n at 100 volts with a phase angle of 10 degrees, and we're given the impedance at 8 plus J4 in ohms. And remember, since it's a balanced load, all three of the impedances have the exact same value. We're also told that we have an ABC sequence, which means we have a positive sequence. So the voltage source goes from A to B to C back to A in a clockwise direction here. All right, how do we do that? Well, let's start with the phase currents, and the phase currents are IAB, IBC, and ICA. So let's start with IAB, and therefore the current must equal the voltage divided by the impedance, and it will be the voltage from A to B divided by the impedance. And the voltage from A to B is the same as the voltage of A to B here in the source. So we can write this as V small AB, which means the line voltage divided by the impedance. Now we're not given the line voltage, we're given the phase voltage, and they differ by a magnitude of the square root of three. So in other words, the line voltage equals the square root of three times the phase voltage, and it also differs by a phase angle of plus 30 degrees. So that means that this is equal to the square root of 3 times VAN plus a phase angle of 30 degrees, and we divide that by the impedance. So now we're ready to plug in the numbers. So this is equal to the square root of 3 times 100 with a phase angle of 10 degrees plus the phase angle different between the phase and the line vo voltage of 30 degrees, and we divide that by 8 plus J4. All right, so let's go ahead and um, find the values of that. So for the numerator, we have a magnitude of, take the square root of 3 times 100, that's 173.2, it would be 173.2 volts with a phase angle of 40 degrees, and we divide that by a magnitude of, let's see, that would be 80, take the square root, that's 8.94, 8.94, with a phase angle of 4 divided by 8, that's 0.5, take the inverse tangent of 26.565 degrees, 26.565 degrees. There we go. Ah, we don't need to write it. Let's just write it as 57 degrees, that's better. There we go. And calculating that, so we have 173.2 divided by 8.94, it gives us 19.37, it's equal to 19.37, with a phase angle of 40 minus 26.57, that's 13, 13.43 degrees, and of course that's in terms of amps, that's the first phase current IAB. All right, so that gives us the magnitude and the phase angle of that phase current. Now to find the other two phase currents, IBC and ICA, we simply subtract 120 degrees from each of those. So that means that IBC is equal to 19.37 with a phase angle of 106, that's minus 106.57 degrees. Of course, that's in amps. And ICA, the third phase current, 19.37, with a phase angle of minus 100 and, oh, not 36, that would be 26, 20, whoa, 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 minus 120, minus 226.57 degrees, and also in amps right there. So those are the three phase currents, IAB, IBC, and ICA. From that, we now need to find the line currents, the currents that feed the load IA, IB, and IC. Now there again, there's a difference between the magnitude and the phase. We know that the line current is equal to the square root of 3 times the phase current with a shift in the phase of a minus 30 degrees. That means we subtract 30 degrees on the phase angle and we multiply the magnitude by the square root of 3, which means that IA, the line current, is going to be equal to the square root of 3 times IAB, 
but with a shift in the phase of minus 30 degrees. And so when we plug that in, that's equal to the square root of 3 times IAB, let's see here, that would be this one, 19.37 with a phase angle of 13.43 degrees minus 30 degrees. Okay, what is that equal to? So we have 19.37 times the square root of the 3, which is 33.55 with a phase angle of, that would be 16.57 degrees in the negative, minus 16.57 degrees. Of course, that's also in terms of amps. So there we have our first line current. Now to find the other two line currents, all we have to do is take the same magnitude, but shift the phase angle by negative 120 degrees, which means I sub B e is equal to 33.55 with a phase angle of, subtract 120 from that, that would be 136 oh, minus 136.57 degrees. And that also would be amps and I sub C 33.55 with a phase angle, subtract 120, minus 256.57 degrees. And we could turn that into a positive angle by adding a positive 360. But anyway, those are the three phase currents and then the three line currents of this particular circuit. And that's a good starting exercise to get a good feel for how to calculate the line and the phase currents in a wide delta circuit. That is how it's done.